Well, hello again from Kingston. Another week has passed. A great deal has been achieved on the third crossing. So without further delay, let's go see what happened. Please like the video if you do and consider subscribing. Thank you. The most significant event this week has probably been the closure of the gap between the pre-existing steel structures. Of course this all began with the delivery of the four steel sections required. As the week drew to a close, two had been installed and two more await installation early next week. But before the time came to close the gap, two more steel sections had already been installed on Monday and a foggy Wednesday. These installations brought another group of four girders to completion. Thursday morning dawned bright and clear as preparations got underway on the first section to close the gap. The beam was quite quickly in the air and then it was only a matter of turning it and manoeuvring it to reach its uh, given space. It's in moments like these that the iron workers really demonstrate their skill as they coax and ease massive steel beams into position. Sometimes a well calibrated boot is just what it takes. While all the steel work was going on, resumption of the delivery of concrete girders was taking place. But emergency vehicles always take priority. After the excitement, it's just a hop and a skip across division and down to the site. The next morning sees the girder brought down onto the causeway, the cranes are moved into position and the lift begins. Once the hooks are in place, the first order of business is to unshackle the beams. Then, in a well-practiced and well-rehearsed activity, the beam is lifted by the operators, moved into place on the pedestals, where workers guide it into place. The activity was repeated on four more occasions last week, resulting in the completion of the whole section between piers 13 and 14. Back at the steel structure, on the east side, the installation of scaffolding cages allows the iron workers better access as they secure the new pieces. But filling the gap last Thursday with a single piece was not enough. A second was placed before midday. The ease with which these pieces are lodged so precisely is quite astonishing and it's never very long before the work of consolidating and reinforcing them with struts and braces begins. But elsewhere on the East End, work continues to prepare the abutment for, uh, for service. Concrete forms are in place and the assembly of rebar for future reinforcement is evident. Further up the slope, the Tomlinson team was busy too again using hydraulic excavation to detect utilities and the arrival of an excavator quickly became clear when work began on the preparation of the roadway that will link to Highway 15.
This work is timely because a succession of trucks have delivered gravel to the slope beyond, which is worked by a bulldozer and compactor all week. Back on the causeway, Bridget had another busy week supporting work on completing the final piers, including placement of the girder bearings on Pier 17. In what seems to be a constantly accelerating pace of progress, concrete was poured on the pier cap for Pier 12. It seems appropriate to spend a little time looking at the West Bank and all the work that's been put into placing deck slabs and sidewalks. These reach now all the way out to the sixth section where there's an expansion joint. There's evidence too at this end of preparations to place the first diaphragms and the joints between the girder sections. All in all, things are going pretty well. Helped by clement weather. Much more to come, but only eight steel sections remain to be delivered. I think you've all come to expect now that towards the end, there'll be a little bit of wildlife. Well, that was quite a week. You wonder what's in store next week. And if you want to find out, subscribe and click for notifications. Thanks for watching.